there's a lot of money to be made, but it but it definitely comes with the cost of you've got a it's it can be a grind, right? I mean, it can be relentless day after day. I used to think of it as like Groundhog Day, right? Where you reach over and slap the you know, mm-hmm. it's the same day over and over and over again, right? You go on all these different roofs and different houses and doing these, beating different people. And it just feels like you're saying, doing the same thing over and over again. And when you start to get to that point, and I think when it, it's, it's, it's almost like you stop caring as much because you're just like, just ground down to almost nothing that you got to say, I need a break. Let's, let's give it, give me a week, give me 10 days or whatever. Give me two weeks or just cut me off or you know, just let me get caught up over the next four or five days or whatever, and then you can start me back up again. But I just need to, like, just take a breather because I'm I'm getting, you know, it could be that you're getting a little bit reckless, right, on roofs and things like that. Or maybe, like, I had one time where I, I tripped over a – I was running and gunning, and I tripped over a, a, a sewer vent pipe. And oh. I didn't fall off the roof or anything like that. I just right. landed on my rear end. And I was like, I just was just going too fast. And I was like, you know what? I probably should take a break. And my manager was like, you definitely need to take a break. I don't need you falling off. I, you, you, you've got great numbers. I don't want, don't, don't want that. And you ended up with a broken leg, right? And I was like, so in that year, so kind of what would you say the average size of your um, claim was? And keep talking because I'm going to like fix this light back here, but just go ahead and like so, money wise and then damage wise. And was it all like wind and hail or was it a variety? Uh, no. So um, last year um, I did uh, winter freeze, tree falls, uh, pipe burst. Um, then I got into wind and hail. Um, and then towards the end of the year, um, we did wind and more wind, uh, pipe burst, uh, sub pump backups, uh, different things. So I kind of had a vast, um, I mean, I even dealt with fires last year, vandalism claims. Um, I kind of deal with, I kind of have a good roundabout, um, throughout the full year, uh, cars hitting collision, um, and then some liability stuff. Um, as far as an average, uh, for claim wise, number wise, it's usually, between, I'd say twenty five, fifty thousand was a good, I'd say medium. Oh wow! Uh, okay, for so pretty for big claims. Um, I I'd say was a was a good bit. Um, then of course the fires you have, you know, you're talking two hundred fifty thousand uh, plus. Um, a lot of these are like three story homes, um, because um, because I'm up, you know, in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. Um, so we're getting into more two story, three story homes or two stories with a basement. Um, but then we had, you know, down South and in South Texas, you just have one stories. Those are, you know, anywhere from, you know, 15, 20,000, um, just depending. Um, but, but there's definitely a variance on the areas. I think the biggest thing, once we start to get running, the running and gunning portion is, um, the change in, in cities. You know, um, if I'm running daily claims, it's it's what part of town am I on? You know, I kind of try and break it up. Um, obviously, even even here, I've been here since Christmas, uh, December 25th. I got here and it's now uh, the beginning of March. Um, so I've gotten to the point on where it's like, hey, like, does something need to change? Do I need to go to a different state, you know, just to switch it up so you don't get like the reckless or you don't get tired? I wouldn't ever say that we get to, I would never say you get to, I don't personally get to a burnt out stage because I understand that this is the career. Uh, the career is nonstop. You know, I, I always tell people my job, I'm seven days a week, 24 seven. When my phone rings, we're doing something. So it's not a burnout stage. It's just how you go about life. Um, And I remind people is in our industry, what are the constants in your day? You know, do you get up and have your cup of coffee? Do you meditate? Do you have, you know, uh, a religious thing that you do or what? um, Like I love going to the gym. Um, Currently, it's in the evening. So I take my breaks. I go run my jobs. I go to the gym. And that's my break between running jobs and doing paperwork, whatever I need to follow up on. But it's my constant for me that reminds me that 
this is still life. It's not a chore. It's not, um, it's not like I'm sitting in the cubicle, you know, um, physically working, uh, nonstop 24 seven, but in, you know, just, I mean, even on the sunny days, like taking a fresh, a breath of fresh air outside, it's just like, enjoy the opportunity you have in the places you get to be that, most likely 80 or 90 percent of your friends and family don't get to do you know they're working the nine to five and they're and a lot of people don't like to do that nowadays so if you get a if you grow in this industry and can appreciate and love what you do over this time it just i mean the world is an amazing place to see especially when you get to travel and do the different aspects even if it's just for a month i know one guy he goes away for I think he said up to like six weeks and his wife's like, all right, got to come, come back, you know, come back for a little bit. So, yeah. um, uh, that's what yeah, I, that's, that's, you know. that's pretty powerful stuff. Um, for sure. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three level house in exact mate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for, and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at hagueducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.